A powerful aspect of SAP HANA is the Predictive Analysis Library, or PAL. The Predictive Analysis Library contains a number of universal predictive algorithms that can execute directly against the data in SAP HANA. PAL provides support for an array of clustering, classification, association and time series functions. Today we will show you a simple k-means app leveraging the SAP HANA Predictive Analysis Library and SAP Business One data. So what is k-means analysis? In predictive analysis, k-means clustering is a popular method of cluster analysis in data mining. A cluster refers to a small group of objects. Clustering is grouping those objects into clusters based on similarity. The k in k-means stands for the number of groups that we want to put our objects in. The k-means algorithm partitions a number of objects into a number of clusters in which each object belongs to the cluster with the nearest centre. In marketing and customer relationship management areas, this algorithm uses customer data to track customer behaviour and create strategic business initiatives. Organisations can then divide their customers into segments based on variants such as demographic, customer behaviour, customer profitability, measure of risk, and lifetime value of a customer or retention probability. We will now show you a k-means analysis running against real SAP Business One data and presented in a bubble chart within a web interface which is easily consumed. We are now logged into our browser interface. Our analysis is based on payment performance and revenue by customer. We have also represented the same data output by customer name. We have used the same k-means function for both of these charts using the same data which are displayed differently. This means you don't have to write a different k-means function to display the same data in alternative views. So in the first scenario, we have grouped customers based on their payment performance and revenue. We can see how much revenue each customer generates and how quickly they pay. For example, we have a one-time customer who paid immediately. Then right on the right here, we have a customer that took nearly a thousand days to pay. And this type of information can then be used by accounts receivables, for example, or the relevant account manager to improve the payment performance of their customers. We've then grouped the same data based on their classification and revenue by customer name. We can then select, for example, the customer that we're interested in, and then we're highlighted and presented with information such as the average past due days and the sales amount for this particular customer. This is just a very simple example of a k-means analysis running against SAP Business One data and presented within a bubble chart. So if you would like to understand more about advanced HANA programming with PAL k-means, check out the technical guide on how to develop and leverage the k-means app using the SAP HANA Predictive Analysis Library following the SAP Community Network link. The showcase of this k-means app has been developed by the SAP Business One Solution Architects team and is for demonstration purposes only.